yeah, yeah. We all heard that Bitcoin is volatile, but you know what's even more volatile? Micro caps. Now, for those of you who are starting to dabble in these highly risky investment options for cryptocurrencies, I encourage you to wa keep watching because you might be wondering, why the heck is my micro cap new investment going up by like 400% in 24 hours only to crash back down? This video is gonna answer that question for you. Before we get into it, I appreciate it if you hit like and subscribe to get daily videos like this. It'll help you in your cryptocurrency journey. Also, I highly recommend you check out our CT Club. The link is down below in the video description. It might not be for everyone. If you're only interested in dollar cost averaging, Bitcoin and holding long term, excellent. But we provide a lot more information in addition to that that you might not find uh, to be in your palette, which is fine. But for those of you who do want to look a bit further into cryptocurrency and what's possible, I highly recommend you check it out. So usually when you're looking at a micro cap, which by the way, Toby and I define these as, as a cryptocurrency with a market cap of about 20 million or less. In fact, for those of you who are in the CT club, you know that we've even dabbled in some that have one or two million dollar market cap. So those are extremely risky. And before I get into this, this is not financial advice. This is for people who have already decided to take this risk because you understand the risk and you can afford to take it. Do not invest in any amount of money in any coin that you can't afford to lose everything. That should be the baseline. So what happens when micro cap coins, you see these, you can see it often where usually it's like within one, like 24 hours or less, a coin will pump 400% just to crash back down back to its normal level. And what happens is it's called a fat finger incident where intentionally or unintentionally someone is able to take advantage of the very low trading volume happening on these micro cap coins so let's say there's one thousand ten thousand maybe a hundred thousand dollar trading volume happening uh, for this particular cryptocurrency and we have someone who maybe is a little bit deep pocketed but is definitely too enthusiastic to buy a micro cap and they're just they just want to buy it all. They want to buy as much as possible because they think it's the next best thing. And it's called a fat finger because what they're doing is they're placing an order that is very high in value comparatively to the trading volume. So let's say, you know, it's it's a hundred thousand dollar trading volume and they want to purchase fifty thousand dollars worth of that coin. They're essentially going to be absorbing all of the sell orders and and just buying 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 it's going to drive the price up very quickly because it's one event from one person ma making one trade it's not evidence of other fundamentals that would justify that upward movement in price and because there's only one instance of this occurring it's going to just as quickly as it went up it's going to go down so what you want to look for is increased trading volume you want to look at trading volume before you make any purchase of a micro cap because you don't want to screw yourself over by driving the price of that micro cap up when you want to purchase it right now for those of you who were able to sell at let's say a 400 percent profit for your micro cap that's definitely a lucky occurrence for you but um anyway it is definitely short-lived so protect those profits the most important thing to pay attention to here is not to fomo in when you see events like this if you see a coin pump 400 percent and you're thinking oh my gosh i miss my opportunity it's never going to go back to those those lows again and then you buy at that at that increased price you're gonna <laughs> buy it at a way too high price you never want to chase a coin you never want to chase and and fall into the fomo that's something i I highlighted in a previous video last week. If you guys didn't watch it, maybe you're not subscribed. I encourage you to hit like and hit subscribe if you appreciate these videos because we put them out every single day. Anyway, speaking of that, I'll see you later. Bye guys.